Welcome to Morton Dock. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license, so as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. Today we'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frame shift drive use. This Sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head-up display. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. The beauty of auto launch is that you can relax and enjoy the view. One of the ways that technology allows us to appreciate the good things in life. Other applicants are departing for their own evaluations, but this isn't a race. Each of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace.
Good. Now increase your throttle to accelerate forwards. Decrease the throttle to resume a stationary position. Your throttle can also be pulled back from zero to engage reverse thrust. As before, push the throttle in the opposite direction to cease moving. Inputs confirmed. Looks like you've got the hang of individual controls. Let's see if you can put them all together. Your next task is to guide your ship through a series of checkpoints. Head towards the course, following the target indicator. The course weaves through an orbital structure and is designed for the novice pilot. Accelerate through the first checkpoint when you're ready to start. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls. beside the throttle gauge. This indicates the optimum turning speed. a particularly sharp turn, so I advise slowing down to prevent any 
mishaps.
watch the distance and speed markers on the dashboard. These are used to help you accurately disengage at your destination. Your next lesson will introduce the basics of combat. Several static and mobile targets will be provided around the decommissioned megaship. We'll also cover some situational information about weaponry and target tracking. And yes, you'll get to shoot those weapons you saw earlier. cycling to a different fire group. You'll notice that your weapons are now listed on your HUD. Fire groups allow you to manage your hard points efficiently. Let's begin the combat evaluation. Destroy several of the canisters. here.
consider me impressed. Your final target has dropped into the area. This time your opponent will fight back, but its damage capability has been greatly reduced. Your target will not react until it registers shield damage. Engage when ready.
to review the interface panels either side of your chair. The external panel is primarily used to interact with the galaxy around you. For example, you can access maps, display contracts, and review nearby objects. Meanwhile, the internal panel displays information about you and your ship. You can adjust module functions, check your records, and access the codex, among other things. often wonder what their first step into the galaxy should be. The pilot's handbook is a great source of help in this regard. It details a variety of professions and how to outfit your ship for them. The handbook also offers advice on various ship functions that aren't covered in this evaluation. You can find the pilot's handbook in the codex, accessible on the home screen via the internal interface panel. The trails moving around you are FSD wakes. Your ship is also emitting one. The position of each correlates with their respective sensor display icons. Starport just yet, pilot. Approaching without obtaining permission first can be dangerous. Good. Ease off the throttle and hold position here. Oh, and try not to block the access corridor. We'll be using the docking computer for this landing. You can always dock manually in future, of course, but practice in a training simulation first. Whichever method you use, all ships must seek docking permission before approaching a landing pad. To request docking permission, open your external interface panel and select the Contacts tab. Then select Quello Station in the list, followed by Request Docking in the Information panel. Docking permission authorized. Docking assist has been engaged. You've been assigned landing pad 3. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. Congratulations, Commander. Your evaluation 
run has been successful, and a license is being assigned to you as I speak. We just need to finalize your credentials. Enter the hangar to exit this evaluation. It's time to blaze your own trail across the galaxy. The manner in which you do so is up to you. <laughs> 